As much as I would love to take credit that I plan that we have a beautiful mountain in our backyard right now. Good morning, Mount Shasta. That's not exactly what happened. What happened was I was trying to find a halfway point between California and Oregon and this spot had really good reviews and it was about halfway and I said okay this looks good. It wasn't until we were on the drive here and we saw 8,000 signs for Mount Shasta that we knew what was happening. And if I'm being totally honest we didn't know what Mount Shasta was so we still didn't know what was happening. So I got on my phone and I started googling and that's when we learned about the mystery and the beauty of Mount Shasta. So first we're going to eat some breakfast and then we're going to go explore and take you along with us. So before we head to Mount Shasta and start exploring, I have a little bit of a detour plan for Beth Ann. Last year, we lost a family member very unexpectedly to COVID, Aunt Debbie. And although I never got to meet Aunt Debbie in person, we had phone calls together and we talked online and she seemed like the most beautiful soul. And I'm so bummed I didn't get to meet her, but I know that she was so important in Beth Ann's life. Today is actually her birthday. I know Aunt Debbie loved the water. She loved to go to the ocean. And the best we can do here is I'm gonna take Beth to see some really beautiful waterfalls that she has no idea, knows nothing about. So that's where we're gonna go first, which means I'm driving, which will be interesting because I'm directionally challenged, but I'm really excited to take her, hike these beautiful waterfalls, and give her a piece of connecting with Aunt Debbie today. All right, let's go. Now to sneakily put in our destination. It's about a 30 minute drive. I'm not not a good driver. I'm just really bad with directions. Like my brain doesn't understand GPS, which it should because pictures help me understand life, but I just don't get it. I have Beth be back up and be like, oh, you need to turn here, you need to do this, but it gets really hard when I try to surprise her with locations and we usually get a little lost, but that's okay, we've got time. Where'd we get those? I don't know. That's a lie. Where did we get these? Where did the binoculars come from? Amazon? Why do we have binoculars? Because you really like birds. And so when we were dating, I bought you a old school compass and these here knock knocks so that we could go bird watching. But then we always forget to bring them. So I actually Googled what to do if you run into a black bear out here because it is springtime. They are really common black bears in this area. Fun fact, there used to be grizzly bears in Mount Shasta, but they went extinct in 1920, which is kind of sad. Anyway, you would think I would know what to do if I saw a black bear because I grew up in Michigan and that was really common, but we just never ran into them and we were just told to stay away from them. So if you run into a black bear, you're supposed to not make eye contact, back away from them slowly without turning your back and then if they start to come toward you you're supposed to make yourself bigger and make a lot of sound. So I have my safety whistle in my hiking bag just in case. You ready for an adventure? I think so. Let's do it. Well first we have to find out where to go so. Whoa. <laughs> Are you kidding? That's so cool. So I couldn't get you to the ocean to see Aunt Debbie today, but I figured this moving oh, body of water, she could be here with us would through that. Love it. We're out here celebrating Aunt Debbie. She knows it. The river's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're gone, 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 gone. River's gonna cry when you're. River's gonna cry when you're. River's gonna cry when you're gone. Beth makes fun of me for smelling trees, but. What do you smell? Pine. Mm-hmm. Freedom. 
<laughs> Hope. Water. Smells are important. You want to smell a tree? No. It's really fun. Let's try this one. I didn't smell anything. <laughs> oh yeah, this one doesn't smell like anything. Parkour. No bears. Is that what your whistle's for? Yeah. Or if someone attacks me, it's multi-purpose. Okay, cool. Such a hiker. This backpack makes me feel like a hiker. It gives me way too much confidence. So much confidence that I feel badass but a real hiker probably wouldn't have forgotten their water bottle before the hike. Or would a real hiker drink out of a river? Back to tree smelling? Yeah, it kind of smells like cedar. Do you think this is cedar? I don't know. We thought this might be a redwood because we've never seen one and we heard they're in Northern California and it's red and it's gigantic. But that definitely smells like cedar. What are you? I bet a bear lives in there. I want this to be my bear whistle picture. Oh my. Do you see it? Yeah. Oh, I just got bit. By what? Right there. Bye bye. Hi. Well, you're not allowed to have that. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi. <laughs> Are you checking out the camera? It's a Canon G7X. Okay. <laughs> what do you think? That was so cool. On a scale of one to ten. I think this is my number one destination. 10 out of 10! It was so cool. I, I could have just sat there for hours. <laughs> I think Aunt Debbie has been with us in many moments today. I, I think we should go to real Mount Shasta, the town, and go get some lunch. Really? Yeah. What do you think? That'd and, be really fun. Aunt Debbie just wants us to live our best life today. Aunt Debbie would and love Debbie lunch with the girls. Yep. So we got close to water. Aunt Debbie likes lunch with the girls, so we'll go have lunch on our Aunt Debbie. That's right. And I think that's about all we can do on that list. Our two favorite pumpkins. Aunt Debbie called Beth her pumpkin. Well, I mean, she called all of her nieces and nephews pumpkins, and apparently the people she worked with too who were young like us. But I'm just gonna keep it as, I'm her favorite pumpkin. It's a pumpkin, not pumpkin. After a delicious meal at Black Bear Diner, the hostess recommended we head to Shasti's Park just a few blocks down the street. We took her recommendation and went there to finish out our day. Here a mountain, there a mountain, everywhere a mountain. I'll tell you what she's doing. We need a new internet beacon. And we were like, oh, we'll just have it sent to the next spot. But thank goodness we called because they said no packages here. So now she has to hurry up and try to get them to two day ship it where we are. Behind the scenes. 96094. Here's our blanket. <laughs> Here's the park. And there's Shasta. If the post office, if the nearest post office at our next place is 17 miles away, that doesn't make me feel very good.
the uh, prob's in the middle of nowhere if it's Thousand Trails. It is. Yeah. Say goodbye to civilization. Goodbye. So I have a new love in my life. You do? How exciting. Her name is Shasta. She's beautiful and glowy. Very mysterious. A little bit of magic. Is it the mystery that really gets you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm going to wrap this here. That concludes celebrating Aunt Debbie Day. Happy birthday, Aunt Debbie. Happy birthday, Aunt Debbie. We love you.